it's time for what's new at Universal Orlando and I'm starting at Universal Studios Florida where you can see there is a giant minion medallion here in the archway. It is for Despicable Me 4 which is in theaters July 3rd which is also the same day the parade debuts. Yay! As I'm making my way into Universal Studios Florida I noticed a new banner outside here and more fun ogre here so it's for DreamWorks Land. They are now advertising it um, because it's officially open now. Right in front of Music Plaza stage, there's a new photo op for Despicable Me 4. You can pose with some of these minions here. They're a little interesting looking. I'm, I'm not really sure what's going on with these guys. I guess I gotta see the movie, right? I know they haven't made any announcements for Scare Zones yet, but I think you guys are going to be very excited for this one. Revenge of the Mummy is currently closed for refurbishment, uh, but I believe it opens on Sunday. Brand new Universe merchandise has arrived and it all features Woody Woodpecker. I kind of love that, you know, he doesn't get enough recognition. He did get a popcorn bucket over at Universal Studios Hollywood for the 60th anniversary, but it's kind of cool to see some new merchandise. So I'm guessing 19 is probably the... Oh, wait. What is it? 1940? So, okay, so 1940. A lot of... It's got a, like a really sporty look to it. As you can see, it looks like like a basketball jersey kind of thing going on here. But I really like that it gives me the Woody Woodpecker uh, Nuthouse Coaster vibes here. RIP, you should buy this and then go ride Troller Coaster. Because it's the same thing, you know? <laughs> but anyway, you can find this in the Universe Store at the front of the park. Some trusses have appeared in San Francisco. I'm not really sure if these are for Halloween Horror Nights or for something else. I mean, it is mid-June. It's not, it's not really too early to start. And I think you guys are gonna like this one too. I think actually, I think you guys are gonna love this scare zone. <laughs> There's something new at King's Cross Station. Now, we have the wait time sign on your right, but on the left there are new signs. There are two signs, first train departs and last train departs. It doesn't look like they're working yet unless they just kind of, you know, they're new. So, but this is really, really smart because when the other park opens earlier or closes later, you know, the hours for the train can vary and I think a lot of people are taken by surprise. So this is really smart. Well, the first signs of a show in the old Fear Factor Theater have arrived. There are black curtains hung up there. I'll zoom for you. Men in Black Alien Attack recently debuted new upright lockers. These are vertical instead of horizontal. They are still free, but these are really good for your freestyle cups. You'll still want to make sure you dump out the liquid though before you put them in there. That's just my recommendation. It's Florida. You don't know what's crawling around in here. But these are being tested here at Men in Black. They still have the other lockers as well. And the large paid for ones for $3. The arcade at the exit of Men in Black Alien Attack appears to have closed. It is, you know, all closed up. And then some of the pressed penny machines have moved. The fuel run machine is gone, but I do believe the arcade is completely gone. So RIP, wonder what they'll put here next. It used to be the photos and then that closed for COVID and then it just never reopened and then it opened as an arcade and now it's closed. History. So we have an operational change. In the morning, you can still walk around the entire park, but E.T. Adventure, Men in Black, Alien Attack, and The Simpsons Ride have all opened at 10 a.m. Now they have added Fast and Furious Supercharged to the list of attractions that open later, and they have moved Kane and Kodo's Twirl and Hurl from opening at 10 a.m. to now opening at noon. So these are a few little changes if you're coming to the park you want to be aware of. In our last video, the DreamWorks Imagination Cafe had opened for the first time and the mural looked a little different. 
I kind of love being a part of this, you know, when you watch things change. Uh, you might remember there was a moon here. I don't think they like the way the moon came out. So it's very uh, blue. It looks like they're starting over here. Maybe we're just going to get a sign. I guess we'll have to wait and see. The new wait time sign for ET is not working yet, but they have painted it. It is now like a bright blue with some stars on it. It looks really good. You can see it really far away too. I don't think I showed you guys last time, but there is a reference to Woody Woodpecker inside DreamWorks Land. It is in Mama Luna's Feline Fiesta. So if you look at one of the portraits on the wall, you'll see a cat with a woodpecker. The Tribute Store has a few new Ghostbusters shirts. A blue youth shirt and there's this black and white um, sweatshirt. We have some new Ghostbusters merchandise in the tribute store. This is from Her Universe. It's got Slimer on the back here. And then of course we have the coveralls here. These are really cool. They just got these today. These are $90. I think I forgot to mention that you can now find Mr. Tape Socks here in the Tribute Store. Today Cafe has a pride sandwich. I know they want people to sign up for their new Universal Rewards Visa card, but these little signs everywhere are really tacky looking. That's just my opinion. The sun is shining, and let's head over to Islands of Adventure. Got some new merchandise here at the front of Islands of Adventure. I'm having a quick lunch at my favorite restaurant, Circus McGurkis, and of course I have to have the roast beast sandwich, which is basically a meatloaf sandwich with a bunch of cool toppings and a tiny little sandwich on top. And fun fact about the french fries here at Circus McGurkis, they are actually cooked by a robot in the back and his name is Horton. Inside the All Hallows Eve Monster Hideaway, there is some new Halloween Horror Nights merchandise. I was in the Five and Dime this morning, they don't have this. So there's a four button pack for $11. A multi-use decal sheet is available for $12. So Pteranodon Flyers is still closed, but you can see that the ride vehicles are still in the station here. There's some ladders and stuff around. It is obviously being worked on. Um, I think they're gonna just make some modifications and reopen. But the new and improved Slurp and Snack has opened. They've got drinks, they've got beer, they've got pretzels, corn dogs, churros, chips, and as I predicted, freestyle machines. There's a lot of merchandise around the park that's on sale, but they are getting ready to have a garage sale soon. It is only for annual pass holders. It will be on June 29th, June 30th, and July 1st. On June 29th and 30th, it is from 9 a.m. till 8 p.m. And on July 1st, it is from 9 a.m. till I believe 3 p.m. And so if you are a pass holder, you will be able to get a ton of great deals. I have a feeling there will be like interactive wands, Christmas merchandise, lots of good stuff. So stay tuned, I'll show you guys all that. And if you're a pass holder, make sure you come check it out for yourself. Details were revealed for Dark Universe yesterday. So now if you scan over there on the model, you'll be able to get new information before it just said like details coming soon or something like that. We're still waiting for Ministry of Magic details, but I gotta say, really who, who needed the sign? Do not touch, do not climb. Who needed the sign? In fact, I was shocked when I heard this was gonna be in here. I really didn't think they could let people be that close to it. Now we have new details on Dark Universe. I'm gonna zoom in here on the portal.
and you will enter into Darkmoor Village. There will be a monster makeup experience. There will be monster meet and greets. There are two attractions and two restaurants in the area. One attraction is Curse of the Werewolf, which has a 40 inch height requirement. You can see it here. Uh, looking at the concept art, you can kind of figure out what's gonna happen a little bit. And we have Burning Blade Tavern here, which will be a restaurant. There's also going to be Das Steakhouse. The other attraction in the land is um, Monsters Unchained, uh, the Frankenstein Experiment, which will be in this castle here. The ride building is this large structure in the back here, but you can see the queue is really detailed. Here's another look the coaster. I'm pretty sure that this area between uh, where Quiet Flight and Cinnabon were is going to be just an expansion of the Universal Studios store there. Uh, the door that the team members used to use uh, is completely gone and I showed you the, well I'll show you here in a second, the opening of where I think it's going to connect. Inside the Universal Studios store, one of the walls that used to have wands is completely covered. Uh, it's got a mural in front of it. I think this is actually going to be an entrance into the expansion. So I believe where Cinnabon and Quiet Flight are, are gonna be more of the store, and this will be a way that they are connected together. The advertisements outside the theater have been changed to Despicable Me 4. It'll be in theaters July 3rd. It was the fall guy before this. There's currently construction on the stage in City Walk, but it should be finished soon because they're going to be having live music this summer. There are some dates and some different kind of like themed nights. They've got like an 80s night, 90s, Motown, Broadway. Uh, show times are 8, 9, and 10 p.m. on the waterfront stage new DreamWorks land signage has gone up in the parking garage. <laughs> 